Hello everyone, welcome back to JDC Classes English. So dear students, in this video we are going to see about the major changes that we are going to see in this examination of GPAT 2024. After taking over of NBMS, the examination body, some of the new changes that we are going to see. First of all, starting from eligibility of GPAT. So eligibility of GPAT, there is no change in this. If you are a bachelor of pharmacy students and you have completed 10 plus 2, after then you have uh, uh, done any of kind of bachelors of pharmacy, either lateral entry or direct bachelor of pharmacy, then you are eligible for this examination. There is no any change in this. But there is a clause that if you are a B or B Tech students of pharmaceutical and fine chemical technologies or any of those equivalent degrees, you are not eligible for this examination. Next, we are going to see the changes that third year scorecard is valid. So, uh, when NDA was conducting this examination, the third year students were not allowed for the examination and the scorecard of third year qualified students are not valid for taking the higher admissions or the higher education like MPharm. But now onwards, you can see that third year scorecard is valid. Candidates appearing for the pre-final year, that is third year, examination of bachelor of pharmacy b form whose results will for final year will be declared before commencement of admission to m form courses for the academic year of 2015 sorry 2025 and 26 are also eligible to appear in gpat 2024 so all those third year students if you are preparing for this examination you are eligible and you can give this examination and your scorecard is also valid you can take higher uh, course admission after this qualified result. Next, the change that we are going to see is that validity of GPAT scorecard. So, there were many questions arising uh, when NDA was taking this examination that what will be the validity of the scorecard? Is it be a three year or not? Now, they have clearly mentioned that GPAT scorecard is accepted by Pharmacy Council of India and the validity of the scorecard, look at the last line. 2024 shall be three years so this will be a three year validity so it's a good news that you are going to get this three year scorecard validity next the scheme of gpat 2024 so the scheme of gpat 2024 in this gpat 2024 shall be conducted in a single day and single session as you all know that in last year, GPAT 2023, NTA organized this examination in two shifts, morning shift and evening shift. But here you can see that this will be a single day and a single session. So it will be a one shift examination. So those percentile, uh, all those came last year will not be here. You will be getting a full marks and a scorecard there. And it will be happening on 8th June as you all familiar about this. Now, the activities they have clearly mentioned earlier here that at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, you will be allowed to enter the examination center. Entry closes at the examination center at 1.30 means you will be getting one and a half hour for entry. Now, grant access for candidate login. So, at 1.45, you will be getting login accesses candidate log into to read instructions at 150 and examination will be starting at 2 pm and examination end at 5 pm so the main here timing will be 2 to 5 in which we are going to see the examination and entry will be at 12 pm next segments in gpat exam paper this is the first time we are going to see the segment wise exam pattern. So GPAT as you all are familiar that there are 125 questions. Now these 125 questions are being divided into 5 segments and each segment you will be getting 36 minutes. Look at this. The question paper for GPAT 2024 will be divided into multiple bound like A, B, C, D, E, five sections. And these five sections will be each having 25 uh, questions. And for those each 25 question segment, you will be getting 36 minutes. And in this 36 minute, you have to solve all those 25 questions. If you anyhow not able to complete those 25 questions in the given time, time boundation, you will be not get extra time you are having you get 180 minutes but those will be time bounded sections each 
सो इन थर्टी सिक्स मिनट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दो ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन आयदर और यू विल बी डायरेक्टली ट्रांसफर टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन हैविंग ट्वेंटी फाइव न्यू क्वेश्चन एंड देर विल बी थर्टी सिक्स मिनट फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट नेक्स्ट वॉट विल बी हैविंग इज द री चेकिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इन जी पैट एग्जाम पेपर सो एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट there will be no extra time for the questions you have marked for review or you are thinking that this question i am little bit doubtful and i will do that later but i am clearly stating you that no extra time will be given for those questions which you are not uh, i mean not 100% sure but you are thinking that i will do it after having later questions or after i have attempted all those questions then i will come back here again and solve those questions but only 36 minute within those 20 36 minute you have to solve this 25 questions either this or you will be directed to the next segment no extra time will be given okay next uh, rechecking and uh, next what we will be giving next no paper pen examination so this is also a very shocking news that in the examination earlier we used to get a pen and a paper inside the examination center but now onwards there will be no pen or paper provided inside the examination center and you have to do all those questions by your own either in your mind no pen or paper will be provided strictly mentioning here that candidates are required to listen the invigilator and uh, candidates are able to look at this this line no rough paper for rough work or pen pencil shall be provided at the test center there is no requirement and no permission to carry a pen pencil and a rough paper inside the test center so there will be no pen paper at the examination center next is test center not in your state or ut the next here we are going to see uh, as you all are familiar in the brochure there are very limited cities mentioned for the examination centers so either it could be in your state or many of you are not familiar that there is no city of from your states that has been chosen as the examination center so simply you have to choose the city that is not very far from you it could be either in the other state the neighboring state of you so this is the major changes that we are going to see in the examination and i hope this video was very helpful to you all please mention any other doubts if you have regarding this examination we will be very happy in shorting you out so this was the video thank you so much everyone for watching this we will be coming back again with some of the more informations thank you all